time now. Well, I don't know, 7.30 in the morning. Got a bit of a lay-in last night. This morning even. Then I have to be on the docks till 6. Then we just had to deal with a bit of fuck wittery. Trailer fuck wittery. I had a 40 foot box on and I had to shrink it to a 20. So I've got a 20 up. Empty 40 off and a full 20 on. And uh, it didn't want to shrink. Pins didn't want to come out. I must have been there for about five minutes with a whole load of other drivers watching me. <clears throat> and in the end, I went up to another driver and I said, Any chance you could just watch these pins while I fucking wiggle everything about? Oh, yeah, all right. And I thought, You just sat there and watched me for fucking five minutes. I'd have been out the truck going, Do you need a hand, mate? Bastards. In the end, it fucking worked itself free. I don't know what was wrong with it. Follow N27 towards Ridwood for 70 miles. So, nice little run down into Wimborne today. Well, I say Wimborne, it's nowhere near fucking Wimborne. It's about four or five mile away from Wimborne. And they call it Wimborne on the address. If I'd have gone to Wimborne, I'd have been fucking miles away. It's Ferndown. for a few minutes so in the summer this is like this part of the, this this stretch of road here during the summer is a no-go area for anyone who lives local because it's just especially on a Friday <coughs> it is rammed solid traffic so you've got everything coming down the M3 from London comes along here to get to the West Country and it's just horrible you don't want to go to uh, down to 303 then this is the way you come always lots of accidents throughout the year you know because people the, the thing is people have been used to motorways and they're, they're driving along motorways at 70 80 90 mile an hour and all of a sudden it goes down a two-lane dual carriageway and it ain't the best of dual carriageways to be up to totally open up uh, uh, honest with you there's some good hills and dips and so it's telling me I'm going to be there for 8 o'clock and I don't have to be there until 9 so um, I'm going to get on down there and just see what the score is so I think the place is a bit like the place I was at yesterday it looks quite tight on the map but can but you know it, it, it looks for deceiving but that works both ways sometimes it looks you go yeah that looks alright on the map and you get there and there's all sorts of shit piled in there that's some um, Google satellite view I mean brighten up I was on the docks for one and a quarter one and one hour 17 minutes which is um actually pretty good for going on the docks at six o'clock in the morning that's not too I was I was all right I wasn't expecting to get off the docks until at least eight Unfortunately, along here there's no burger vans. Otherwise, I might have been tempted to stop and have a spot of breakfast. There's not even that many layboys now. There's 
there's a few up on the open forest. So this junction here, this is the junction into the new forest. It goes into Cadnam and then directly off to Lindhurst. And they can be queuing halfway along that road from Lindhurst, nearly halfway back to Cadnam sometimes. It's horrendous. So it's just, a, you know, it's a, the luck. Uh, yeah, just come on in, my son. Cut in. But you might get a few nice views up here with the forest. Well, they call it, it's, it's, it's the new forest. So we're more or less in it now. You might even see a sign for it in a minute. Um, but not all the forest is covered in forest. In fact, the vast majority of the forest isn't forest. If that makes any sense whatsoever. I got a good night's sleep last night. I only woke up once. And I didn't put the heater on all night. It was it was pretty mild. I put it on uh, when I woke up and the alarm went off at five up. I, I switched it on then just to warm up. So it was a bit nippy then, but um ah, it's boasty. I must have missed the sign, perhaps eagle-eyed of amongst you might have seen it. So we're now in the new forest. So we're down to two lanes and this is what it remains like um, for a little way now. Let me start hitting some roundabouts. Come on then, put your foot down. That's it, accelerate, accelerate, go on, go on, go on. Come on, yeah, you can do it. Hey, fucking hell. Talk about make like hard work for yourself. You didn't even look. Start off with. I don't know who teaches people to drive. Or whether they've just fucking forgotten it all. We haven't got a lot of weight on, I think the box only weighs six ton. But this is quite a steep hill. Doesn't look steep, but it is. I came up bird lip empty the other day. She uh didn't really struggle on that. Just drop the cog. Right at the end. Hope to see some blue sky. We could well be on for an early finish today. You never know. You never know. I might need to go on the docks. Okay, what are you doing? Yeah, it's the better of it. Sometimes go home this way, depending on the traffic. Go down through Emery Down. Um, I'll rephrase that. 
if we're coming from, say we've been away, um, and we're coming down the, instead of going through Cadnam and Linders, they'll often come along a little bit further and just drop down that way. Or you can keep going. Um, but the road's shut at the moment. So uh, there's no point coming any further because you've got to double back on yourself. about it as far as parking is concerned. Now we're in Hampshire at the moment, we're about to go into Dorset and as far as I'm aware I don't think there's one truck stop in Dorset. Mind you there's no motorway either but you know that's not really the point. here and then there's one a little bit further on. Got fairly high here as well. Cycled all that round in. Carriages up here, either side of the road, and um, I don't know whether they. I think they've changed owners now, but they've been for a whole spate of being continuously done for um, card skimming. That was a few years back. <laughs> it's just constantly in the papers.
So Burley to my left. If I was to come off here, I'm about 15 minutes from home. Burley, famous for its witches. It's deep in the New Forest. Back in the old days, obviously this road one here. But it might have been a track or something, but back in the old, old days, and uh, yeah, there's lots of witchy craft type shops and stuff like that in Burley. Uh, come on. What's the fuel price there? 161. Oh yeah, I was going to talk about fuel. Um, my prediction of 170. Well, by the time this comes out, I reckon we'll be nearly there. For mainstream, you know, not service stations, because they're already there. But um, your average garage that you fill up, fill up on on a regular basis will be nearly at 170 a litre of diesel. And I put money on it within two weeks. They reckon there could be a big price increase on Monday, from what I've heard. So, uh, watch this space. See how my predictions are. I already predicted back at the beginning, or the mid part of, or the latter part of last year. I think it was, the, I think it was back in September. I think I predicted that in uh, that the. Uh, Inflation would be running at 7%. Well, I reckon we're going to go soaring past that. We're not far off it now. And interest rates will rise to, to 2%. And, uh, yeah, I think that'll happen. I've also discovered that this knows where the road works are and it'll reduce your speed down accordingly. So I'm coming up with some road works now, coming into a 50. We're at 60 at the moment because that's the legal limit for me. There's a 50 limit up here. Let's see what she does. Does she know about these road works? I can she does. She's just dropped me, she's dropping me down to 50. Blimey O'Reilly. How about that? I'll say that, she ain't dropped me that much. Manually done it. Well the warning came up, maybe it was the warning that came up that told me it was 50. And I have to adjust the cruise accordingly, I don't know. I thought the other day it automatically, automatically brought me down. Maybe not. So we're going through the outskirts of Ringwood now. Nice little market town. I say nice, it's After all right. 1.2 miles, keep right. There's a girl, girl, a girl, killed on a scooter down here. Oh look, they're fucking digging the road up. Jeez. How do you get on to the map? How do you get on from there then? Coming through Ringwood. Wow. I haven't been through it for a while, that's all new. Slow down here, it gets a little bit. Oh, look at that camber. Wow. We're on the wrong side of the road. This is normally traffic coming the other way. Well, I haven't been down here for a, couple of, well, a good few weeks, I suppose. Pack it on, my that. Oh, we're back on the... Back on the road we want to be on now. Keep right. End of the 
Vogue works. There you go. She's told me that. Back up to 60. Not that I'm doing 60, but that's the legal limit. Truck's limited to 56. I can only go faster if I've got a tailwind and I'm going downhill. Nice and quiet. Thought it might be a bit busier. So that's what the old spur road there to my left there, the underpass we went through, and that takes me off down into Bournemouth. This is uh, St. Leonard's or St. Ives, one or the other, or both, they sort of pull into each other. Oh, pull. Oh. That must have been subliminal. Yeah, we're not part, far from uh, Pool now. So Bournemouth is down to my left. Bournemouth and Paul just run there's no there is a boundary but it's only a, a paper boundary it's it sort of blends you know like all these big places now they all blend into each other don't they yes yeah, so, oh it's off to my right they used to it says there's a truck stop down there I've never been down there and I'm, mile, cross the roundabout and take the I must look exit, it up on the map towards Dorchester I must look it up on the map. Because if so, there is a truck stop in Dorset. Cross the roundabout and take That'll the be second it. exit. And have a look. A little bit of brake just to slow myself down in. I've only got a 20 on. She's not heavy, but I don't know where the centre of gravity is. It could be packed up quite high. No idea. Always a little wary of, uh, t more wary of 20s than I am of 40s. Because all the weight is, is just in one place on the trailer. Bang smack in the middle, right? Like, but it's all in one place. And although we're not heavy, all you need is a bad camera and too much speed, and you've got, you're a goner. I think it's 50 mile an hour, isn't it? Starbucks there. Not allowed in if you're a truck though. No. I had to come down here with a fridge unit. After um, a quarter of a mile, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A31, towards Dorchester. And I had to come down here for and drop it off for uh that complete with the trailer down into a, a Sainsbury's down here. No, I had to come and collect it. Sorry. And take the second exit. I had to come and collect it from the Sainsbury's and take it. No, I had to collect it from the Tesco's in Ferndown and take it to the Sainsbury's here. So it was a nice little job for a Friday. Come down here, do that. Do you know I nearly ran out of time? <laughs> oh dear. It was half a mile, just cross the roundabout one and problem. take the first exit, A31, towards Dorchester. It was just one problem after another. Nobody seemed to know what was going on. Nobody could, I couldn't get an answer out of anyone. Could I take it? I'm supposed to take it. I'm taking it. No, you're not. Why not? Because it's full of fucking fish fingers. Oh, come on. It should be empty. It's supposed to go. Is it going? Isn't it going? In the end it did go, got there, they weren't ready for it, so they were placed where they wanted the trailer to go. Step in a bit, fella. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit, A31, towards Dorchester. It was just a, a catalogue of fuckwittery.
So down here, this is where a lot of people get this roundabout wrong. I'm going to be taking the road to the right, signposted for Dorchester, A31. Now traditionally you'd get into the right hand lane. Right on the roundabout and take the second exit, A31, towards Dorchester. But both of these lanes go round to the right. Signposted by the road saying A31 look, Go on the road. Right on the roundabout and take the second exit. But what you get is you get people in the right hand lane there cutting directly straight in front of me. But this lane spits you out in the correct lane. Those horses in that field, I don't know if you saw them there, fighting. They're biting each other. Steady on boys. Girls. a 50 mile an hour limit I could have gone straight up the hill there and come in from the other direction but there might be a little bit of parking and if there is a little bit of parking as I come into the industrial estate I'm going to pull over for 15 minutes but this is uh, I think the preferred way into the industrial estate so it's the way I'm going anyway headquarters are just round up this next roundabout I think it is or the roundabout after we've got Verwood to my right and Fern down to my left and a big branch sticking out around these roundabouts and then um, you can sort of park up on the second one it's just a massive really wide loads of people park on it it's like parking I think there's even a toilet there to be honest with you go left on the roundabout and take the first exit Cobham Road I'm coming in no, but I'm going We'll see if there's any parking up here. There's another roundabout coming up in a second or two. After 900 feet, cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Unless they put up no parking signs since the last time I was down here. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit, Cobham Road. Oh, looking good. I should drive that van. Look at that, they've even put toilets up, look. I did a bit of work for Smith's Metals. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to park up here for a minute. I'll speak to you all probably on the way out. Speak to you later. Hello. 10 o'clock and I'm tipped. I'm heading straight back to the quay now. I should have a should be there within the hour. And the end of the road, turn left near runway. And then I should be done. Should. We'll see. Turn left. I've never been down here before. I'm sure, it was down in the. Uh... I've done a couple of places down here. On the right, I think I've been in there before. After 600 feet, turn left, Cobham Road. 
Yeah, I'm sure I've been in there before. And then um, when I turn left here, which is where I'm going to be going now, it was uh, in the industrial estate on the right hand side. And that, funny enough, well, nothing funny about it, was body macerators. Ugh. I've delivered to um, what else have I done here? I've done a couple of places, a couple more places as well. I think I've passed it now. Yeah, passed it. Yeah, two or three places. And when I was doing the uh, when I was um, doing metals, there's a two or three engineering firms I used to deliver to down here as well. I quite enjoyed that doing uh, metals. It's only seven and a half ton work, but it was um, it was easy work. And it was always to small little independent engineering companies. So um, they were generally, um, you know, pretty friendly people. Yeah, there was a couple up in there. place up in there as well up in there Fernside yeah I've done a place up in there as well cross the roundabout and take the first exit I would have pulled up in there to get a can of drink out but it was pretty, pretty busy not quite sure what was going this was when I look back, when I left earlier this morning, I think this tree might have come down. After 900 feet, go right huh. on the roundabout and take the third exit, A31. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Flying down here. Of course, you can't see this. sign on me is that nav it looks like flames <laughs> I don't know what's going on down here perhaps there's a fire I don't know Go on. find out in a minute
I'm in mean, no rush. I've got about 20 minutes to kill somewhere along the line. So if I find somewhere to pull over and park, I will be. I managed to get hold of some breakfast this morning while I was parked up. One of those jiffy wagons come round, you know, the old snack vans. And I had, I said, oh, what have you got? She said, oh, we got, you know, this, 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 and this. Said, we got a gut buster. And I thought, well, I'll, I'll give that a go. But I've used... on the roundabout and take the first exit, A31, towards Ringwood. I viewed it as a bit of a threat, you know? So I had to do something about it, so I bought it. And I've got to be honest, it wasn't that nice. And it certainly didn't bust my gut. I had a couple of sausages in there, and some bacon, an egg, and a bit of cheese in a roll. Uh, bacon was pretty iffy, the sausages were... Well, you could just about tell it was a sausage. The egg was hard, as you'd expect the roll was a bit crispy because After it's a quarter of a mile cross the roundabout and take the first exit a31 towards ringwood it's been wrapped in silver foil for about 10 hours so yeah i want that special cross the roundabout and take the first exit could have parked in there See what this truck park place was. by that sign. After a quarter of a mile, oh, cross we go. the roundabout There's nothing there. and take the second exit, A31, towards Ringwood. Calm yourself, Sasha. A little bit of a panic there, didn't you? Thinking that car was stopping you. Turned off. Well, now you can slow down a bit. There you go. Cross the bit. roundabout and take the second exit. Well done. Anything coming round? No, we can go. Okay, on you go, on you go, on you go, on you go. That's it, you can accelerate now. Come on. There we go. There we 
we go. Go on, we go. Follow A31 Ringwood Road towards Southampton for 13 miles. Yeah. Or until I find a lay by. The lay by, yeah. And I could have stopped. Get through these road books. Because if there's going to be some fuckwittery on a Friday, it's going to be in those road books, isn't it? Let's clear them. Let's clear them. Delays possible until November 22. Oh my word! November. Normally you move into, it goes into four lanes and you move into the right hand, the two right hand lanes. But that's being used now for oncoming traffic, so uh, let's have a look, see what goes on. so far Yeah, that's Ringwood on me right and a bit on the left, but mostly on the right. Heading back out towards the forest. So I've got to pull over and kill a bit of time. Be nice, I have a cup, cup of tea. A cup of coffee, actually, milky coffee.
she is, she's let her out and then she kept pace with me. Now she's got back. And that's why you're sort of dubious about moving out in case you get hung out to dry out there, you know? New forest now. It's the shell garages I was telling you about on the way in. I mean, you just sat there, dickheads. There's another one, I hope there is. There's the old cows. If you saw them on the left there, they run freely all over the forest. side of the road. It's going to be broken down along here. Never good. Oh, brilliant. Shut the fucking label. Why? Why is that closed? Somebody tell me. Wankers. I was going to stop there, wasn't I? Ugh, useless. Well, that's fucked it, because I don't think there is another lay-by. drive round the docks. I 
Oh, there might be another lay by. I can see a sign. But it's going to be busy now, isn't it? The next one's going to be full because that one was closed. So all the people that would have parked in that one and they're parking in this one along with the people that wouldn't be parking in this one anyway. We'll see. plenty of room to get out then doesn't it? I want to get 15 minutes in at least. Right, speech is all in a bit. Or maybe tomorrow. No, Monday because I'm on the lash all weekend. So have a good weekend. Enjoy yourselves and um, make the most of every second you got with your loved ones. Speech is all later.